Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Scarlet with Scarlet's Little Crafty Corner, and today I've got a um, product review for you. Now, I was contacted by Raymond from um, Land Pavilion, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, from Amazon, and he asked me if I would consider showing one of his products and doing a review for him and I said yes of course I would so this actually comes from Amazon and this is a metal floor stand with a flexible gooseneck that can hold tablets iPods Samsung Kindles and most cell phones okay it rotates 360 degrees and it's great for watching movies or videos hands-free so let's get this open now this came to me in an Amazon box I took it out of the Amazon box um, and this is what it looks like I have not opened this you are seeing it for the first time as I am um, but we are going to take everything out of the box and move the box out of the way. And everything, as you see, comes very protective. Here's your installation instructions, which is awesome. And it doesn't look like it's really going to be that hard to put together. So, let's just get everything out of the box and chuck the box. Alright, so, um, I just want to say real quick, thank you to all my subscribers. Um, it's been about a week, I guess, since I've had a video, um, I want to thank everyone for your support, your well wishes. I had a um, freak um, <laughs> thing happen to me and ended up going to the hospital, having emergency surgery. And I was in surgery, or well, I was in the hospital for a week and I just got out two days ago. Um, I'm supposed to be in my recliner, but I have got, I have got videos to do. I'm behind on videos and I've already given people my word that I would do videos and I am sitting in my recliner thinking, man, I could be sitting in my craft room making videos because I gave my word and I am just one of those people that when I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. And if I don't, it'll eat at me and eat at me until I get sick and I just, I have to do it. So here I am making videos two days post-op. So anyway, I want to thank Raymond for sending this to me. And Raymond, I am sorry that it has taken me so long to get this out to you um so let's let's look at the the base um i'm gonna open this with my box cutter because i can't i don't want to be pulling um and i can't be lifting anything heavy and this is sort of heavy but I, I don't think i don't think it's you know too heavy um, very nice, large base. So this, I would not be worried that it's going to get, you know, top heavy or whatever and tip over because this is pretty large. Uh, this is about the size of my Chrome tablet, actually. So this is this is pretty large, um, and I'm gonna. I ain't assuming nothing, but let's see what's in here. 
All right, so this has got, all right, so this has got, um, what is this called? This is called your chuck. This is called a chuck. Okay. I didn't know that's what that was called. Okay. So, it's got the adjuster to where you can, you know, loosen it up to where you can move it however you want. And then you can tighten it up once you get it the way you want it. These you pull apart. This has got, this part right here has got, um, if you can see, let me bring you down so you can see. If you can see, it has got like a texture so that it's good and grippy. This is rubber. This part right here is rubber to where when your tablet or phone or whatever is in there, it's going to be in there good and snug, but it's not going to damage your, um, um, your, your phone or whatever, if y'all can see that. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me bring this closer. Because I can't see because of my chuck. I did not know that's what this was called. Anyway, so this is rubber, and it's got a grippy on it. It's, y'all can hear it. Um, but it, yeah, it's not going to, it's not going to damage your stuff. And then, like I said, this is rubber. It's got two arrows so that you know that you pull it out. And it, it's got, like, lips right there to where you can hold it and pull it out. And as you can see, it comes out pretty good. Now, I've got one that I have been using. And then, you know, the one that I use on my regular desk, it's like one-sided pull-out to where this has got both sides you can pull out. The good thing about having one that has both sides is that I can put my phone in here and I can pull it to where it's like I can, if I can't see because this part is right in the middle of my view, I can take and push it over to where I'm pretty much able to see the whole thing. And this part is over here on the end, if that makes sense. Anyway, I know that I can do it with this one too. It's just when it has this one side over here, it always ends up being on my on and off button or my volume button on the phone. And if I turn it around the other way, it's on the camera. So, it's either trying to turn my camera off or turn my phone off while I'm trying to do a video. If that makes sense. Anyway. All right. Let's put this puppy together if we can. Now, I'm going to try to do this. I don't know how I'm going to try to do this. Um, let me move that out of the way. All right. So, we have got these bars. And then this is my, this is my gooseneck. And this is rubber. This has got a rubber on it. Now, I'm going to tell you all the basics of this real quick. Um, the length. Okay, the base. The base is 8 inches, 8.26 inches wide. By 12.99 inches long. So it's 8 inches wide by 12.99 inches long. And before I have even forget, this has got like a mat on the back. So it's not going to slip and slide. And if you're like me and you've got wood floors, this is not going to scratch your floors. Um, and you can see the boat, but the mat is up above the boat. So it's not going to, that bolt 
is not even going to touch your floor. So it's not going to scratch your hardwood, your laminate, your tie, it, it, whatever you have on your floor. It's not going to scratch it. Um, the length, the minimum length is 40.1 inches. Maximum length and the maximum is if you have this, you have your pose on and you have your um, gooseneck straight up is 55.9 inches. The minimum is if you have your, um, you have your pose on and your gooseneck is curved, that's your 40.1. Now, if you need this even shorter, all you got to do is put two of these and leave the third uh, pole out. You don't even have to put all three if you don't want it as tall, okay? So, I told you about the anti-slip mat on the bottom. Uh, this thing, uh, the maximum weight that this can hold is 900 grams. And I'm not sure. I meant to look to see what that was before I did a video. But I, of course, was in the hospital and it's been like two weeks and I don't remember. Um, you can even have this on charge. We're just going to go ahead and wait a minute. Okay, let's see. Okay, I don't guess it, does it matter? Whoops, wait a minute, yes it does. Okay. Does it show? Okay. Here we go. So you have one rod that does not have this part at either end. So, alright, I'm going to have to move this to the floor. Alright, so I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to screw this end into... That rod I just screwed in there. Okay. All right. So, um, what I was getting ready to say is, um, you can use the phone, the holder, even while you're. Um, look, this is what happens when I don't read the instructions, y'all. There's a reason that these are in here. Look. This rod, if you can see, I don't know if you can because it's so dark in here, has a hole in it at one end and this at the other. This has this hole in it, if you can see. Can y'all see? I don't know if y'all can see because I can't see what y'all see. Okay, so... This has this hole, and this. This has this hole, and this. This is the one that's supposed to go next. I was trying to do that one. If I just stop and just read. So anyway, if you want to charge your phone, tablet, whatever, while you're using this, you can. Um, it will allow for you to do that. Um, all right. So, I am going to show y'all what this looks like. Um, well, you know what? Let me put this on here. And then I will show y'all what this looks like. That way I'm not taking the phone off, putting the phone back on. And all that good mess. 
And y'all, like I said, I'm sorry if I sound out of breath and everything, because I am. Like I said, I'm just a couple days post-op. I'm in here doing videos. Alright. Okay, so, and then this... Okay, so before I take my phone off of here, let me make sure there's anything else that I need to, to do, say. Um, all right, devices can charge while in use. Holder can go from 4.7 inches to 12.9 inches. You can also remove the middle pole to make it smaller. I already told y'all that. Um, now, I did not go look before I started this video, but at the time that I received this, which was um, <laughs> two weeks ago, um, I'm going to take y'all off my phone holder, so hold on. Okay, anyway, it shut my video off. So, just excuse my mess. I've been in the hospital for a week. All right, so here is the chuck. And you can turn it any way you need it to. This is what it looks like all the way down. There's the base plate. Okay, it's pretty tall. I'm 5'5", five five and it's, with it bent, like I said, I told y'all the measurements, but with it bent, it is right at my chin. So it's about four, four foot. Now, I have my regular phone that I actually talk on is a Samsung, I don't even remember what this thing is. Um, now, it will fit this way, you know, if I adjust this, but of course it's going to be way too, too small, or too small for that, but it will fit fine for, you know, an iPad or whatever. So, so what do y'all think? And like I said, at the time that I received this, it was in stock. Um, and I think there was like a $10 coupon, so I'm not real sure. Y'all pretty much going to have to go look. Um, but yeah, I think it's, I think it's pretty nice. Very sturdy. It's not too heavy. Um, and you know, this, this thing, it's pretty nice. So... So yeah, like I said, go check it out, um, and I will leave a link in my description box, let y'all know, you know, where you can find it at on Amazon, and again, thank you to Raymond at, um, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, um, land pavilion on amazon um i think the cost of this was like 29.99 so it's not very bad price at all very reasonable um very easy y'all seen it took me all of what five minutes to put this sucker together three minutes um and that's with putting the wrong bar in twice and taking it off and putting it back um so, so yeah, go check it out and let me know what y'all think. So, until my next video, I guess I will see you all later. Bye, y'all.